Hi everyone, this is David Wilson, Gallery Director with the Salem Art Association, coming to you again with another episode of Art in the Everyday. That's right, each week, each Monday, we're going to try to bring you a variety of different types of uh, creative lessons and presentations that will hopefully spark art in your everyday. Before going any further, I'd like to take this time to acknowledge two very generous sponsors in this uh, in, in, in Salem, Oregon here who have made our art supplies in this video possible. They are Life Source Natural Foods in cooperation with the Art Department Art Supply Store right downtown on Commercial Street in Salem, Oregon. So thank you very much and we will be bringing you many more videos because of their generosity. Thank you. Before going any further, we have to say hello to Leonard. Leonard, I understand uh, in our communications this week that you uh, made a friend uh, and Leonard has brought uh, Karina with us and she also has brought along her uh, fashionable seersucker uh, knot hole right from her own personal home just to kind of show us what is fashionable in uh, in the city parks these days so right over here we have Leonard and Karina say hello thank you both very much now for the project Today we're going to do something very unique. We're going to do something out of this world. We're going to do something that we're not supposed to do right now, and that is imagine ourselves outside doing something fun. We're going to paint a sky. How many of you have painted skies before? Mm-hmm, I thought so. Well, in any case, I'm going to show you three simple ways to make a sky. We're going to be using watercolor. We're going to be using just a simple brush some table salt, clean water, and have another jar here ready with some uh, just backup clean water in case the other water gets dirty, paper towel, and some paper. You could use, this is watercolor paper, you can use some heavyweight paper, anything you may have around the house, because you, you gotta have something, you know, like, uh, I, you know, a, a terrible book you read. I, I'm not advocate, well, Leonard gave me the idea. Anyways, here's what we're gonna do. Take some water, put some water onto the paper. I'm just going to take this little area here to demo with. There we go, some clean water right on the paper. Looks very clean. All right, now I'm going to take some blue and put it into the tray of the palette, the lid of the palette here. And that can be used as a mixing palette. Just kind of make the paint fluid. And then I'm just going to drop it right on top of that water, set the paper down. Move the paint around a bit. And as you'll notice, what's happening, the paint is beginning to bleed. Now, I've, I worked on one of these earlier and I prepared for you. So here is a sample of what it looks like when it dries. It's amazing because sometimes not drawing clouds, but allowing the paint and the water to do what it wants to do will make it look more like a sky with clouds than drawing or painting a cloud might do. That's the beauty of watercolor. Say you want to make an evening sky. Very simple. Take some clean water again, lay it down on the surface of the paper. I'm gonna start with some yellow and I'm gonna put the yellow right down towards the bottom, kind of like where the sun is meeting the horizon line. Then wash that out Go into some orange, put some orange above, and let it kind of just bleed down a bit. Now, if it bleeds too fast, you could always lower your board down, the watercolor paper down. Then I'm going to take some red, put that at the top, and then let all the colors kind of bleed together. So what's happening is you're letting the water create a gradation where the colors appear to be blending. Now I worked on one of those earlier and added a little blue at the bottom and notice the results. It's a very simple, quick method. Finally, here's a fun one. Take some, take some water, again, wet the paper down, not as much as you did with the first ones. Take some of that blue, that dark blue, really make it, really make it dark and just layer that in there like that. Just kind of, I'm going to really load that brush up with more pigment. There we go. Now, take some table salt. 
You can sing a little song if you want to. Leonard, nothing? You guys watching, by the way, because we're going to show some examples of their efforts here in a bit. So what you do is you put some table salt on top of there, let it dry, brush away the salt, and this could be your effect. You see, the salt kind of repels the pigment, and as it dries, it creates these starburst-like effects. Could be a starry night sky. Could be rain on a windshield or a window. It could be anything you want it to be. So, I've asked Leonard and Karina, since I was introduced to them, uh, uh, Karina, here earlier in the week, I asked them to partake and make an example for us. So, let's start with uh, Leonard here. I'll move this out of the way, Leonard. Get it out of the way there. All right, let's take a look. Leonard, those community ed classes are really paying off. You see, Leonard here went ahead and painted a photorealistic painting of Mount Rushmore. Great use of blue, Leonard. And now, Karina, now it's customary that we show uh, our talents. So if you're nervous, about, you're not nervous about me showing, okay. Well, let me, I just wanna make sure because, you know, new to the program and you're welcome back, okay? so. Let's see what you've made here. So let... Hmm, that's a rather, uh, that's rather a, a, a toe tapper of an idea there to uh, uh, reinvent an idea of the, um, what? She drew a portrait of me. Next time we're gonna try for a sky. Well done. Good effort. So, here's the challenge. You have one week to create a sky. Create one of the skies. Create all of the skies. And reinvent the sky. Share it on social media by tagging us on Instagram and Twitter with hashtag art in the everyday. Or share it in the, in the comments section underneath this video on Facebook. Be sure to follow us. Follow us. Follow us. Look what you're doing to me, Leonard. Be sure to follow us on social, uh, on social media for more art activities as well as how to get involved. So until next, oh, what, what, you, something you want to say? Good advice. All right, so next week I want to see you back here for another creative lesson. I want to see in the meantime, your skies. Keep drawing those cups, by the way. If you're doing the landscapes with the collages, keep coming in. Thank you again, Life Source, and thank you again, Art Department, Art Supply Store, right downtown in Salem, Oregon. Stay healthy, stay well. I'll see you soon, okay? Take care.